In this video, we're going to be looking at training an AI model with my own voice. And this is going to be really interesting because I can then generate my vocals without having to do any singing at all. So let's delve right in. Hey everyone, this is Barry from Music Tech Info. I hope you are well. So we're going to be looking at kits.ai, which is an amazing tool in which you can train your own AI model from whatever source you want, whether that's recording your vocals, importing your vocals, or importing guest vocals. So the possibilities are really endless. So you go to kits.ai. So these are some of the things you can do with the product. You've got AI voice cloning. So you spend less time in the studio and more time creating using any custom digital clone of any voice. They have their own AI singing generators as well. So you don't need to necessarily train a model if you're happy with one of the AI presets that already exists. There's also tools for allowing you to remove vo vocals from tracks. So you can isolate clean production ready vocals from any audio source. You can de-reverb, you can de-echo, you can remove vocals and more. And then there's finally AI mastering as well, which they've recently introduced. They've also introduced voice blending, so you can merge two AI voices together, which is really cool. There's an AI instrument library, which is instrumentals at your fingertips that you might want to use. There's APIs if you have your own product. And there's also text-to-speech as well, and uh, which is where you don't need to upload a file. You can literally type what you want to say. So the benefits are things like replacing sexual vocalists with AI vocals, ditching the studio, effortless vocal harmonies, creating realistic demos, playing any instrument and polishing your vocals. Now, like anything and everything these days, there's a subscription model that has been introduced. So there's a converter model, which is the basic model. That's $9.99 per month, which gives you two vocal slots for AI modeling, as well as 30 download minutes a month. Now, you have to be conscious that mistakes can happen when training an AI model. So that may not be enough. So please bear that in mind. And for instance, I in the past have run out of download minutes because I've been trying various different presets to get the right one. And every time you download, it's going to take off your balance. So that's something to bear in mind. But as well as that, you've, you've got various features. You've got premium download quality in WAV format. You've got an AI vocal toolkit, mixing and mastering, 40 plus royalty free singing voices and eight plus instruments. Now, if you want to have more AI models, such as a maximum of five, then you can go up to the creator, which is $24 a month. And that way you have unlimited download of, um, of minutes. So you can download as many times as you want with the presets in mind. And then that caters for, you know, making mistakes and things. And then finally, there's a kind of high level tier, which is Composer, which is $60 a month. That gives you 12 voice slots and unlimited download minutes. So I've set up an account and literally on the left hand side, you've got various options available to you. So train is where you can train your voice. So I click on train first of all and then train a voice. Blender you can only do when you've got two voices set up or one voice and you wanna use one of the AI ones that has automatically been generated. And you click on start training. Now the way that this is works, this is good to um, simplify. So you've got original vocals here. For sentimental reasons. So those are the original vocals. And then after you've cloned the AI voice, this is what will be generated. For sentimental reasons. The difference is really striking in my mind. And I found really good, interesting results via using kits.ai. So I'll click on start training. So what you do is you click on new voice. So I've got two slots available because I'm on the basic plan. I've already created one and I'm gonna click on new voice. So what I'm gonna click on here, I don't wanna do voice blending, I want to do voice cloning. So I wanna train a unique custom voice directly from my own audio data set. So then you're presented with uploading audio. So you've got two options. You can upload, say, your MP3s or WAV4 files of, of you singing a cappellas, for instance, or you can paste in a cappellas from YouTube to actually train your model. Now, it'll provide a bar here. So you've got a minimum of three minutes of a data set duration. It recommends 10 minutes, but you can go up to 60 and a bit beyond as well. 
There is a possibility of removing instrumentals if you want to, if you want to try uh, genuine full on tracks and just kind of allowing the tool to extract the vocals for you. Um, mixed results with that to be perfectly honest, but it can work really well. And also remove backing vocals because you don't want to confuse training the model with anything in the background. So you might want to enable that too. Now, if you're doing YouTube links, you'll literally just paste them in one by one. And as you do, that bar there will start to increase. But for now, I'm going to go File Upload and I'm going to find my acapella folder. Now, I've got various ones here. So this is going to be training my own model. So I've got Mellow Cleaner Acapella. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply drag that across onto there. Can you see that's just gone up to two minutes? So that's great. And then what you'll do, you'll keep dragging your in acapellas onto the file upload screen and it will start to increase. And when you get to past recommended 10 minutes, that's generally where I stop. Then you've got the option of clicking remove instrumentals or remove backing vocals. And then when you click continue, it'll give you a time of how long that's going to take. Alternatively, you do the same with YouTube. So you can go onto YouTube link and you can paste in your files and then you click on continue when you're ready with that. You'll then name your model of what you want to call it. I'll just call it test for now. And then if you want to add an image, you can do that as well. So it's told me here just from doing one video, it's going to take 16 minutes. Now my own vocal that I did yesterday took three hours. So bear that in mind. You don't have to leave the laptop open at that time, just to let you know. Um, I closed the laptop and opened it up roughly three hours later. And by which time it was done. Now, when your model has finished, you'll have your own AI vocal model generated. And this is it here. It tells you if it's high fidelity. You've got a link there. You've got a drop down box where you can edit it, you can share it or you can delete it. So if I click use voice, this is where you can start to use the AI model that you've just created. And what happens is you feed it vocals acapella vocals, and you can again enter a YouTube link if you want, you can record it. You've even got a free demo audio, which won't charge you any credits if you're interested in that, or you can add or drop your acapella of your source file. And then what it'll do, it'll recognize it, validate it, tell you if it's, if it's roughly the same pitch level, um, it'll give you some settings to do, and then it'll actually produce the output for you with your new model's voice. from the original file data set. So what I've done is on my iPad, I'm actually gonna present the screen now and I've got this track that I really want to try this out on. Okay, so this is Cubasis where I did this particular track. You can see it in its entirety here as a digital audio workstation. This is my project file. We've got some vocals down here. So I'm gonna play the track just first of all so you give you a bit of an idea. Time. If I skip a bit, and then we got some later here. Okay, so what I've done is I've extracted only the vocals out of that, and I'm gonna drop that into this voice input here. So again, it says support to have an MP3, 100 megabytes maximum. So I click add or drop file. So I've got the file here, and I'm gonna drag that across over the top. I can preview it here if I want to. It does say too high, but that's not always accurate. So just bear that in mind. You, you might wanna convert it first and just see how it sounds. So I'm gonna click convert. Now this doesn't take as long. If you are interested in my music, I do do synth pop and synth wave music via the name of Cyber Monday. So yeah, make sure you check me out. And a subscribe to the channel would be fantastic. I love to cover all things for musicians such as AI, Web3, NFTs, artist strategies, that kind of thing. So now you can see the output file has just started. So this is generating and processing the AI model that we've trained onto the original vocals and converting that into the new AI vocals. So now we can check it out. Time goes by at the blink of an eye. 
It chills me. Don't know what your love has done to me. Now, I'd actually say that's probably about 75% accurate. I think there's room for improvement. I'd certainly want to clean it up if I'm going to actually produce that. There's, there was some echoing in there, which I could have used the D harmony tool and seen if that's helped, if I had a bit more time. But there's something to bear in mind. I thought that's pretty cool. And what you can do, you can download that. But as soon as you do that, that's when it will start to zap your download, download time minutes. So bear that in mind. But I've already done this previously. And uh, what we'll also have a look at is text to speech. Okay, pitch, medium, let's convert that. If I'm saying it, it's gonna be, hello, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. But don't forget, I've only imported singing. So it'll be interesting to see what this does. Here we go. Hello, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. <laughs> Brilliant. Hello, please. Hello. <laughs> hello, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. <laughs> I love the accent. That is brilliant. Oh, I love that. That's, that's going to be a green tick. <laughs> so there you go. You've you've got your new AI vocals, and then it's just a case of replacing that on your digital audio workstation with those new vocals. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so we're now going to listen to it. Time goes by at the blink of an eye. Original? Don't know what your love has done me. It's got me cold like I don't, I don't, I don't want to fall. I don't, I don't, I don't want to fall. I don't, I don't, I don't want to fall again. I don't, I don't, I don't want to fall. I don't, I don't, I don't want to fall. I don't, I don't, I don't want to fall. So there you have it, and that is how you train your own AI model with vocals to produce new vocals via the AI model to create new music. I just think it's amazing. Obviously, you've probably checked out YouTube. There's a lot of videos where you've got like, I don't know, Dolly Parton singing Happy Birthday and, and that. I really think it benefits musicians in so many ways. Me as a producer, I now know that I can train an AI model into whatever voice I desire and you know it can be great for so many things so i hope you like this video and catch you on the next one take care bye